There they are, ladies and gents. Oh, that was around 2000. Times have changed since then, but three of those guys will be on stage tonight with John, David Bryan, Tico, obviously not Richie, but we got Phil X, and uh, hey, I want to see Bon Jovi. I'm going to a Bon Jovi show. I got my Bon Jovi hat here, and uh, we're going to follow it all tonight here in this video. I'm obviously concerned. I made videos about the state of John's voice right now, but you know what? I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. This will be my sixth Bon Jovi show. And I don't know if it'll be my last. By this, in, by the end of this video, you might know if it'll be my last or not. But I'm about to go jump in the car right now and head over to the arena. So uh, let's head. Let's do it. So I got my key. I've been known to lock myself out. There's like 500 events going on. There's like, like, I don't know how many events are going on. There's all kind of games and no kind of fans. I see Texas Longhorns fans everywhere. Clearly there's some kind of game today. Well, let's do it. All right, parking is paid. We're here in Moody Center parking garage. Let's make this happen, ladies and gents. This was, uh, was rough and all kinds of sporting events, all kinds of crazy, just people everywhere. People everywhere. Indeed, club. I'd love to get some merchandise, but as much as I paid for these tickets and as much as I paid for the parking, um, hell no, can't do it. Can't do it. Unless they blow me away. They blow me away.
enjoyed it. You definitely have a lot of positives. And uh, I had a really good time. But I know what everybody's thinking. And unfortunately, um, definitely didn't sound great. Um, there was just no hiding it. No hiding it. But you know what, man? He gave it everything he's got. They played that extra song at the end with I'll Be There For You. Fantastic closer. I mean, there were moments where I was just into it. And some songs work better than others. The set list wasn't anything special besides that last song, I'll Be There For You at the end. And all they did play uh, Roller Coaster, which I knew was a possibility because they played on this tour, but certainly not a definite. That's my favorite song on this house is not for sale. Um, I think so. But, uh, I'll give him some more thoughts here when I get to the car. But, uh, this could be the last time I go, man. This could be the last time Joby concert I go to. I feel like this is it, man. I feel like this one was it. You know, unless his voice miraculously gets better, but you have to have, everyone's got to be on point. The band has to be on point, which they were, you know, and the voice, unfortunately, has to be on point, and it's just not on point anymore. He sounds really bad, and there are certain moments, and I don't want to get on him too much, but there were certain moments where I almost had to cover my ears. I was like, oh, man, really bad. You know, bad medicine, he seems particularly bad, and um, who says you can't go home, he sings particularly bad, which are like the two big encore songs. So um, it's a good idea to come in with I'll Be There For You, he sings that one a little better. No big surprises other than I'll Be There For You, maybe Roller Coaster, no big surprises. No tour debuts in this one. No um, no other songs from 2020. I was hoping maybe get lucky and could hear for the first time live on this tour. Um, a song I really like called Blood in the Water on the new album didn't happen. Maybe a surprise, you know, something shocking these days, you know, didn't happen. Of course not. I mean, just kind of dreaming on that. But all in all, I had a really good time. But I feel like it's the end. I've been a fan for 30 years. I'll continue to be a fan. I hope they put out more albums and stuff like that. But as far as going to live shows, he's just, unfortunately, he's blown a gasket. Here we are. Back home. Okay guys, back at the motel and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, going in, knowing what to expect is huge. You know, if we didn't live in the internet era and I was just going to a Bon Jovi concert and we weren't watching clips and anything like that and there was no talk, there was no Twitter, there was no nothing. Just going to a show, expecting to hear, you know, the band, you know, the well-oiled machine that we're used to, I would have been you know, just horrified uh, because, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to harp on it, but really that's the only negative. Uh, the set list was what it was, was what it was expected. They took out that acoustic set. Don't know why they did that. It's a pretty cool little acoustic set. Um, no, we don't run. No, someday I'll be Saturday night. No, love's the only rule. Um, they did keep in uh, a couple of, you know, cool songs to hear, like Just Older. He didn't sing it that well. But honestly, I mean, he doesn't sing any of the songs really well. Some of them you can get away with and they still sound cool. Like I said, Roller Coaster sounded cool. Bad Name, he did okay. Keep the Faith is one that he kind of he kind of can get through and uh, do okay. Um, but overall, it was just, it just felt like this is the last show. And one of the craziest things, I remember distinctly, the first show that I ever went to, the first Bon Jovi show I went to in 2000, one of the first days, first time he spoke, you know, they played their opening song, One Wild Night, and the first time he spoke, he talked about, this is the church right here, this is your church. Um, something like about religion and connecting it to rock and roll, like this is where we are, do our worship, this is rock and roll. I don't remember his exact words, but he mentioned the church. I'm a man on a mission, baby. I got souls to save. We got funds to raise. And I got to know, are you ready? If you believe, get your hands up in the air. Welcome to Johnny's Church of Rock and Roll. I'm going to save your soul. Are you with me? He hadn't done that 
since then. I never heard him in all the shows I've been to since then mention anything, church or anything like that. But then here, right at the end, the very last song we're going into, or just finishing it out, um, it says, don't you guys gotta go to church? This is your church. And I just found it interesting, like, like full circle for me, like from the first show to this show, and a lot of other parallels with this show and how I came to this show, uh, how just so many things that in my personal life that just line up that are similar between this show and the first show I went to. And it kind of makes it feel, you know, they play just older too. They play just older. That was a, a, a song from Crush and that we're on the Crush tour in 2000. Haven't heard that song play live since. And then today, just older, they play it. I'm not old, just older. Except now he's 60. He's still not old, old, but his voice is old. His voice is old. One foot in the grave with that voice. Not the man. He, he, he seems perfectly healthy, but that voice good god man it's it's just bad and uh it's just no ifs ands or buts i'm not trying to be mean his voice is blown and i feel like this is probably gonna be their last tour maybe i'm wrong maybe they'll just keep going out there but i, I don't see myself paying out shelling out big bucks anymore but i did want to come to this last one and i had a really good time it was not you know the best concert i've been to probably maybe the worst but Maybe one of the most emotional ones because I knew that this would probably be the last Bon Jovi show I would go to. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the vlog. Sorry it's dark in here. There's no light. Lights don't work. Okay? I had to get the cheapest motel I could find. That's just where I'm at financially. But I appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to you later. Yeah, nice.